Uh, did we go mute? Hi, how are you? Hello. Let's see here. Let's see, make sure there. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm an Apple guy, not a not a PC. So please, uh, sorry. We 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 had it working on Thursday. Finally, I was being pokey. All right, everybody's here for weather or not? Correct. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think I got. Looks like I'm not too sure exactly how many people I have. I got I got nine people on my screen, I guess. So, and I guess one of them's not that one. So I think we got eight coaches total. Yeah. Okay. How many people have done whether or not before? Do we have a chat room going or no? Actually, I don't know how I can get into that though. Yep. They can they can type it into the chat room or they go. can raise I, the hand. Either my, one. I just, I just found it. Okay. Nope, I found my, I found out how to do it. Okay, doke. Okay, so I got one who says yes. All right. So um, I did tell um, on uh, Thursday that uh, basically it's the same rules from last year. So hopefully it got reposted to the website. If not, it should be there. Um, the whether or not actually is a, um, it's a uh, uh, multiple choice uh, test. Um, we uh, utilize both uh, uh, images uh, projected as well as paper tests and it's run through a um, uh, blanking on actually on what we use. Uh, for those of us who went to zip college grade. in the 80s, zip grade. For those of us who went to college in that one, it was Scantron. Um, so uh, we're gonna you're, make sure your kids actually know how to operate that. Uh, you should be able to receive uh, information. Basically, it's filling in filling in a, a dot for A, B, C, or D. Um, the questions uh, usually will have either two, three, or four answers uh, to choose from, and will range anywhere from two points to four points in nature, uh, and those are determined by me. Uh, you will know uh, they'll be established uh, before the uh, scoring is is done. Um, that's the way we actually uh, are able to uh, determine uh, rankings. It's going to be total number of points. Uh, we usually try to get it approximately 150 total points over a total of usually 70 questions. Um, so uh, how we've been operating it and I continue to do so will be that the beginning of the test actually are uh, images um, or uh, GIFs that will be uh, presented on uh, screen and they'll be shown for 30 seconds. There are two questions that are uh, relegated to each image. Um, after we go through all 10, I will go back and actually show each of them for 10 more seconds and then the time is up. So that counts for the first about six and a half minutes of the test. Uh, and then the remainder of the test is remaining questions uh, to be able to go back. Um, of course, the kids can actually you know, make a guess and go back and answer, but while I will not reshow the photographs uh, after the images after they are done um, and, and doing so, so forth. These answers will be straightforward. I will have some yes, no on that or uh, um, um, very simple answers. Actually, I don't uh, operate any true or false because you can always find exceptions in every rule. Uh, they they kind of uh, they're, they're 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 not good they're not good questions. I, I always try to make sure that uh, there is actually there will be an obvious answer, um, uh, and been pretty successful over the four four years uh, in, in terms of making sure that there isn't anything that's questionable. Um, there's a you know there's an issue unfortunately for some of our family you know for some of our uh, test takers we have to realize this is a test that can range anywhere from third graders taking it to sixth graders so there is a very large vocabulary um, I I issue here um, so I try to make it as as clear as I can um, you know unfortunately I also cannot actually bring it down too far either uh, so. Uh, hopefully, actually, the teams will make sure they're matching up if there's a third grader, match them up with a fifth grader. So again, we have those abilities uh, to be able to do it. I do have it proofread by at least two other people, with one of them being an elementary educator. So I, again, I, I try to make sure that our vocabulary 
and our style is actually is, is as suitable as we can. Um, so um, trying to think anything else right away from there. Uh, if there's any questions, please go ahead, put them into the chat room. I'll be able to, I'll, I'll answer them as we go along. If you come up with something, I may not answer them right away here as we're talking, but we'll go back and make sure everybody's questions are answered. Um, let's see, I think this, uh, the previous year, let me make sure I bring this up. It's going to be the same as last year. We only did it once. I'm going to manipulate a few of the questions, but we're, we're not going to read. We're not going to recreate um, uh, uh, a, a full test. We're still going to maintain what we did last year. Um, and the bring this on up here. There we go. The topics that are going to be prominent this point in time are going to be um, fronts and weather systems, air masses, and wind. And it'll account for anywhere from about a quarter to a third of the total points. So that's what to concentrate on. Um, there, there is a tiebreaker, and those will actually be um, the first tiebreaker is going to be the total number of three point questions correct. Um, again, those will be established. You guys won't know those. Those are that will be established though before uh, the time. And if we still do not have that tiebreaker there, there is going to be a single short answer um, for uh, a question. Um, uh, spelling it does not count. If I can make it out, that's okay. If I can't, well, uh, that's going to be it. But uh, I, I'm pretty lenient from that standpoint. Uh, grammar and uh, you know and uh, punctuation, correct punctuation, does not matter. Uh, I will do my best. Um, try to encourage the kids to answer it because sometimes it does come down to that. And actually, if somebody answers and nobody does, somebody who at least attempts an answer is the one who's right. So it, it can be beneficial. And I think last year it did come down to that. Uh, there was a tiebreaker that was just because somebody answered it and the other person did not. So um, you know to make sure. But it will be a straightforward question. Again, even a, an answer is a single sentence, uh, so it won't be too elaborate uh, to be able to comp you know, for the time. Um, there's a listing of materials that I, I, I that will be available there on, you know, on, uh, you know, online. So uh, you will be able to uh, kind of get uh, judge your uh, studying uh, for 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 your students. Um, I won't deviate from there. There's only questions on there. I'm not going to surprise you. I'm not going to go off. Uh, we're not going to uh, get into historical weather. We're not getting into historical people. I don't think that's actually uh, an important thing for these kids to learn. What we're trying to do is actually get them excited about weather and um, you know how to actually be able to tell it. So again, this is something that hopefully we'll, they'll build on actually for uh, their life as well as in education uh, for for these school years. Um, uh, so there, there's going to be a list there. I don't know if it was on. Can somebody tell me, is it actually available on the website right now or not? The rules are available on the website, yes. Okay, so my, how about the coaches, the coaches, the coaches uh, uh, material that I actually had? The coaches note for what was going to be on the test? Let me take a look. Give me one second. It should be available, but let me go take a look. If not, I'll make sure it's actually passed up there rather than going through it. I mean, I, I can I can discuss it here briefly there, but it, everything will be there. And then while we're waiting on that one. Um, yes, so it's listed under three folds, websites, books and textbooks, correct? Uh, I have it. Yes, you got it. You got it. So it the is. list, so the listing of the material is is, is all there. Um, I I don't tr like I said. I'm not going to try to be sneaky or or, or anything else. It's going to be straightforward. The questions are going to be on on those topics. So um, uh, if there's anything else, I, I mean, I think it's pretty straightforward. Again, it looks like only one out of uh, you guys have done it, but that may mean that a whole bunch of other people have already done it, and so they don't want they, they don't feel they need to listen to it again. Um, let's see, what else do I want you guys to know? Again, the, the photographs, like I said, uh, it, 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 it's going to be anywhere from, 
I may have a, a, a picture of a weather map and just identifying uh, what type of front that may be there. Uh, clouds also, of course, actually go very well for, for images. And again, maybe two questions um, you know, uh, that pertain uh, to that type of cloud. Um, same thing for other weather events like tornadoes and hurricanes and so forth. So um, they're fairly straightforward images that you're going to be able to show your kids from you know internet internet images as well as from many books i did give a listing of some uh websites as well as books that can be very useful uh in doing this uh the kids can actually have a i think it's we're using a five by what was the number we had four by six or five by seven sorry it's not been almost a year and a half since we did it it's five, five by eight five by eight okay so a five by eight card, my apologies. Uh, and it can be both sides. You can put on whatever you want to put on it, okay? Um, so whatever the kids actually feel that is pertinent that they cannot remember, that they can be able to go back. It is one card per team. Not one card per student, but one card per team. Um, so any information, uh, don't, you know, don't, don't waste your time putting a whole bunch of things about the weather barb and everything else. I'm not gonna ask a question on that one. Uh, sometimes I see uh, that, and if, if uh, you know, in the past when we've done the um, um, when we've done the districts, I may have pointed out to the kids, you know, update this. You guys don't have to know that, but in this case, uh, unfortunately, because of the COVID situation, I will not be proctoring if we do a district, or at this point in time, I don't plan on proctoring the um, proctoring the county because of uh, because of uh, job related issues. So. Um, uh, so I won't be able to do that. If you have questions, of course, I'll be happy to answer them throughout the next couple of months, uh, sending through the site. Um, but again, anything can be there. No other devices, however, are necessary. I'm pretty strong about doing that. We, we, we no phones are necessary or anything else. My usual is again, if it's seen uh, for any reason, unfortunately, I, I, I've already told my, you know, I've told teams they'll be disqualified. Um, there's no reason for it whatsoever. Uh, pencils, number two pencils are what we want you to bring in, but if not, if you don't have it, we do have it. We do not need a calculator. There'll be no calculations uh, that are necessary. Um, I do usually try to put down both uh, 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 standard as well as metric uh, uh, numbers that if all possible, just so I can get the kids comfortable with using uh, both of those, but I, I won't just use a metric only, but I may use both. Uh, at the same time. So again, if I say zero, you know, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll say zero degrees Celsius. So, um, but I do want the kids to get used to doing that because, uh, you know, in, in, in our science classes, you know, metric is, is, uh, is prime. So, um, I think that's it for there. Is there anything else that anybody's questioning? I know it makes it a little bit more difficult to be able to do I know about I know what the teachers go through. They can't see their students' faces and, and see that questioning looks. There was one question in the chat. If you could repeat what you're emphasizing yep. on the test. I think yep. it yeah, well, again, it's going to be on the sheet and it's going to be weather systems is the other thing. Fronts and weather systems, air masses and winds. So those are the those are the things that would be more prominent uh, on the examination. Again, now I know John was talking about the possibility of having districts, but I don't know how many schools are going to participate uh, in, in being involved. Uh, I don't know if uh, you know, uh, usually there's four different ones, a practice for Utica and, and a competition for Lance Cruz, um, Chippewa, and uh, then a combination of the South Side. So I, I'm not too sure if that's going on or if we're just going to be planning on doing a countywide in May. So no, 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 there is not going to be a mock tournament. Uh, so no mock tournaments. tournaments. Yeah, because yep, like, uh, oh. we only have 40 schools and with the okay. way the COVID is right now, the school right. facilities are not open. Right. Uh, and, and, and I and I understand that. And, and that's those are this is one of the questions of, from this standpoint you know, of then being able to do it. So, uh, OK, so we'll be planning on doing that. Uh, I unfortunately I, I've. I, I hesitate to actually put question styles or doing that one because again, what my goal has been actually over this, this is the, the fifth year running that that I have a 
um, that I have uh, a number of questions uh, pools to be able to pull from and then be able to rotate them throughout a three to four year cycle. So unfortunately, I don't want to put it aside because then some people may have an unfair advantage uh, about doing that. Um, now I may, uh, you know, maybe I'll put it something of a generic from that to, to give you an idea of what the question looks like. Uh, but from a material standpoint, I'm a little bit more hesitant to do that. Um, so, um, but without doing the districts, uh, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I have to think about that one. Um, but like I said, if that sheet is there, if you guys actually did take a look, even uh, now while we're doing this, the, the discussion here, uh, you can ask any questions about the material. Um, as I said, what we're doing, um, you know, what we're planning on doing again, you, you, the kids need to know about atmosphere, about the layers, about varying characteristics, features, the contents, greenhouse gases. Uh, know about air masses and the different types and how they affect on weather, their locations of formation, how they affect weather, uh, different features, definitions of fronts. Uh, we're talking about being able to cold front, warm front, stationary front, occluded front with their kind of characteristics, what kind of weather it is uh, you know, ahead and uh, behind uh, these fronts, uh, as well as to be able to identify them uh, you know, grossly on a weather map. Um, you need to know about uh, pressure uh, as well. It goes to weather characteristics, changes throughout the atmosphere, the effect on wind. Uh, it'd be able to identify isobars on a map, um, what an isobar is. Um, you know, we need to know about human you, humidity, water vapor content, uh, dew point, difference between humidity and relative humidity. Um, the you know, heat index, uh, and association with uh, temperature, uh, varying instruments, just the instruments that are listed down there. Okay, so I have Doppler radar, uh, rain aside, uh, sound, excuse me, a uh, barometer, altimeter, uh, air, uh, anonometer, a thermometer, uh, a psychometer, a uh, weather vane, uh, rain gauge, wind sock, hygrometer, uh, varying satellites. So again, those are the only ones that you have to know. There can be a whole bunch of different other ones. Again, I'm going to just concentrate on those. Uh, you know, the, the idea of the seasons, the equinoxes and the solstices. Again, descriptions, why they occur, associations with the Earth orbit. You know, the weather cycle, which most of the kids have done probably at least once or twice. Um, you know, wind issues. Again, how created, factors that affect it, high and low pressure systems, the three cell model uh, of global winds. Uh, the Hadley, Farrow, and Polar uh, you know, uh, uh, cells, uh, how they affect weather, the Coriolis effect, how it affects uh, wind, uh, where does it have the greatest effect, the jet stream, prominent location, weather effects, sea breezes, land breezes, the Beaufort scale uh, for, for wind, El Nino, uh, Hubub, uh, La Nina, uh, Santa Ana winds, and Chinook winds, okay? Um, you know, where the locations and primary there. I guess the cloud uh, cloud types, we're looking at the primary 10, uh, their, you know, their location, uh, whether they're low level, mid-level or high level uh, clouds, associated weather with them, what they may be made of. Uh, if you've ever looked in book uh, books with regards to clouds, you can get these uh, uh, many different types, like you have, uh, uh, Cumulus, uh, homulus, and congestus, and that again. I, I'm just going with with cumulus. Uh, you don't have to know the differing types to be able to look at it as the difference between being a homulus versus a congestus. Um, uh, so that would be straightforward. But again, I do want you guys to you know, be able to understand that. Of course, there's also a couple other specialty clouds um, that that go along though. Uh, the uh, mamantus, the virgra, the lenticular, uh, and the noctilucid clouds. Um, Again, knowing about uh, different uh, precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, hail, uh, and kind of get an idea about the atmospheric conditions that can create those, especially those here in our winter months uh, near it, like freezing rain, uh, sleet, and, and snow, what, what kind of goes on. Those are the ones that kind of get to be the three-point questions to be able to understand that. Um, uh, the thunderstorms, again, uh, the stages of development, uh, the different types, uh, the characteristics, severity, squall lines, lightning, um, and risk to safety and derechos. Um, 
tornadoes, again, formations, conditions for creation, characteristics, need to know about wall clouds, shelf clouds, funnel clouds. Doppler, car, you know, Doppler radar characteristics. You know, most of us now know this. We watch the Weather Channel. We, we you know, our kids are pretty good about this. Uh, the enhanced Vegeta scale or the EF scale. Uh, again, knowing what it is, the different sections. You don't need to be able to break down saying this wind speed or this kind of destruction that goes on with it. Uh, I, again, I want them to know about it and the kind of the different, uh, uh, the. Uh, um, different nomenclature that come along with it and usually it goes from EF zero to EF five. Um, you know, the location tornado alley, Dixie alley, know about water spouts and again, risk to safety, uh, hurricanes, again, locations, characteristics, conditions required to create how they progress, um, in intensity. Um, you know, we're talking about tropical disturbance, tropical depressions, tropical storms and hurricane, uh, the Sanford Simpson scale again, the, the fact of, uh, you know, how, you know, how um, it progresses through in the numbers, the higher the number, the, the greater their intensity. Now, again, we, I'm not going to ask the kids like, uh, you know, I'm giving you this wind speed. What is the Sanford Symptoms, Systems, Simpson scale, excuse me, unnecessary. However, they do need to know the wind speeds that make the characteristics for depression, um, a uh, tropical and a tropical storm and a hurricane. Um, you know, what kind of wind speeds there? Because I may give that and say, okay, what kind of storm is this? Um, and again, those 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 numbers are easily available. Uh, know about blizzards, definitions, characteristics, know about wind chill factor, uh, what it's like. Know about lake effects. No, yeah, it's a good thing for us. We live in an area with lake effect. So, and, and uh, your characteristics, its formation, lake locations, and, and the seasonality about it. Know about nor'easters. Again, definition, location, and characteristics. Um, optical phenomenon I, I have in there because again these are sometimes really good actually with regards to photographs. Uh, we're talking about crepuscular rays, rainbows, uh, the boreal, the the auroras, um, you know, moon dog, sun dog, and sun pillars. Um, I do want the kids to know about the differences uh, between watches and watches and warnings. Uh, I think this is a really a big deal. I want kids to actually uh, learn this and know this. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of us adults don't. Uh, and, and this is uh, something that they should, uh, you know, just be part of their part of their knowledge base because it's for their safety in the in the present and the future. Um, so uh, there will be questions again. What I'm looking for is the severe thunderstorm, tornado, um, tropical storm, hurricane. Those watches, hurricane, uh, blizzard watches. So the watches and warning that go along with that. Uh, and, and then for winter weather, winter weather watch uh, advisory and warning. Um, and then climate and weather, again, definitions recognize the difference. Again, uh, climate change though is real, but I'm not going to get too, you know, too crazy. I'm not going there, but things that may uh, actually affect our climate and may result in change um, and, and those kind of things. Um, and those are it. I think it's enough, but those are the kind of things to concentrate. Easily actually found uh, both through internet as well as uh, as well as a number of books to be able to um, to help these kids depending on their um, you know on their on their reading levels and so forth. So um, I think that's that. Anything else? I don't see any more questions coming on. Hey, uh, hey, hey I, 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 I was. I'm sorry. One more time. I was going to ask, going to ask you. I want to. Okay, there's a echo from your computer. Oh, I don't know why. I'm sorry. I should have actually maybe put on another one from here. It's just the uh, the one for the for the computer. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll continue. I'll continue. Then. Let me. See. How much time they have? Time they have. Complete. Well, complete. How much time do I have? No, no. The kids. Once oh, they the kids. The I'm sorry. The, the the exam is a 30 minute exam. So, um. Uh, I, I, again, so there's six minutes uh, again available, you know, six minutes, uh, about six and a half minutes for the photograph. So it's going to depend on how quickly the kids get into the classroom, uh, how quickly they actually get settled, uh, how much of the rules we have to go over. Um, again, the more time that we take with that, unfortunately, depending on, on the number of people per and, and the number of sections, uh, again, may limit the amount of time. Generally, we try to actually, hopefully, that the kids, it's a 30-minute test period. 
reality is the testing period, if everything goes well, is probably about 26 minutes. Um, what I've done in the past, and I'll recommend them to doing, I usually give the kids a five-minute warning uh, that there's five minutes left, and then also a one-minute warning. This way they know what uh, time is in. Um, I do want the, the, the kids do need to know only answers on the zip grade will be counted. Uh, they uh, can answer the question, this, the uh, 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 simple question on the back of the zip grade. There's a spot for that. Uh, anything on the, you know, anything that's on the uh, test sheet itself uh, will not be counted. So I encourage the kids, yes, they can write on them. They can put everything else. They can circle the answers, but it has to be on the zip grade for it to count. Um, we will collect all the tests afterwards. I prefer, I, I don't want them to leave the, uh, to uh, again, leave the uh, building. As I said, I, I, again, there's only so many things, if, but we're doing, we have to do a district test and then a, we usually do a district test and a uh, county test. And there's 70 questions, that's 140 questions each time. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to come up with, uh, you know, new questions every single time. So I do do a rotation for three because mostly, again, the longest that kid's going to probably be involved is three years. So I think I can get a decent rotation here uh, that, uh, again, we don't see uh, you know, anything else. Of course, there's some questions that probably be asked almost every year because they're important material. Uh, but again, try to get a good rotation. I keep the, the exams. I go through them and try very carefully to make sure I don't do duplications. I also try to make sure that, you know, again, I want them to know the material and since it's own, you know, that's 70, I don't try to actually give hints to what a question the answer may be through another question. So I really try to be very careful about that when I go through the test. So it takes a while. Um, uh, so another question for you. Yep. Yes. Uh, will it be a paper test and can the kids break the paper test up so they can kind of divide and conquer understanding that it has to go on to the zip grade? They, they can, but again, that they, they have to be careful in making sure they're paying attention to time to be able to fill. They can, yeah, they can break it apart. I just don't want it leaving the, I don't want it leaving the building. So I do, I, I'm going to, we collect them and they need to stay at the station where they're going to, you know, where they do the test. Uh, how it's been operating the last couple of years is that uh, it's usually in a classroom with desks. So we usually bring two desks together so the kids can sit next to each other. Uh, the kids can talk. Uh, to each other again. Uh, try to keep it, uh, you know, very quiet. Uh, uh, you'll give some, you know, some uh, nods that we have to keep it down. But the kids actually have usually been pretty good about that, so we don't have to be completely silent. Um, again, I do want the kids to stay in their seats uh, and, and not moving around, except when they actually do leave, uh, so we're not distracting to the other kids. Uh, it's a 25 minute. Also, the same thing true. Unfortunately. Make sure they use a restroom before going because once they leave, if they leave the room, I can't allow them to come back because I don't know whether or not they may be finding out a question or asking somebody and then coming back. It's just not fair. It's only a 25, 30 minutes. We should be able to hold going to the bathroom for that long. Um, so encourage the kids to actually use the restroom before they, you know, before they come into the room. Uh, kids can come in. I mean, they have come in late. Uh, the only problem about that one, again, with the photographs being shown very, right there at the beginning, if they come in after that period of time, unfortunately, they, they, they may not have an understanding of what those questions are. So it just may hamper their score. Uh, there's no penalty to guessing. Um, they're, they're, again, uh, my encouragement is that the kids try to fill everything out. Uh, we don't. We only count correct answers. They don't get marked down for having incorrect answers. So... Um, uh, we don't, I don't try to think every answer is a single bid. I don't say if this, then that, uh, again, try to keep it as straightforward as we can. Anything else? All right, let me see if there's anything more co to come along. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't know whether or not, actually, I think I got it up in that thing. Again, some, uh, there are a couple of really nice areas for clouds. Um, again, you can just go to images and being there. Um, did I actually get, uh, let me see if I have the one website. I belong to, uh, to one group that's out of, that's out of rats. Nope, doesn't look like I got it on this one. Um, 
but uh, there's a uh, oh dang nabbit. I can probably get over here. Excuse me, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over and get my get a book off the shelf. Right. Yeah, this is the one. Cloud Correct. The, and I think there's a website actually for it. It's the Cloud Collector's uh, Handbook. So again, a whole bunch of different photographs of them, some beautiful pi pictures that are done. So again, give, give the kids an idea of what these clouds do look like. So that can be pretty helpful. Um, I mean, we want this to be a good learning experience for the kids. It's an, it's an adjunct to their, their, their education. I've had a number of kids who've done all three years, uh, you know, of, of, of participating, you know, in, in the, uh, you know, in this, my son did it for two years uh, back when he was in uh, grade school. Uh, but that now, eh, unfortunately, I think is now 13 years ago uh, that he, he last participated. So it's been a while. Um, so uh, I think that's, I think that's about it. Usually there's a bunch, but I don't think anybody wants to anybody wants to type. So it's either straightforward or it's as clear as mud. If anyone, if anyone doesn't have questions, questions, I'll stop the recording now. Thanks, Ray. Oh, no, yeah, you're welcome. Good luck, everybody. If there's going to be questions that come across, uh, I'll periodically check the website and uh, and provide answers uh, if anybody does have any questions. Um, and we'll go from there. Like I said, I'll take a look. I, I may try to give uh, a couple of style of questions just so you know how to be able to help with that. I encourage, again, get your kids to learn how to use a zip grade and feel comfortable with that. Um, those other items, uh, again, working towards getting your, your 5 by 8 card. Like I said, it can be anything. You put photographs, anything on it. It, it you, you, you can have. There, I usually have no restrictions on uh, on that. Uh, whatever you think that may be necessary. So, okay. All right. Good luck. Please, everybody, stay. Everybody, stay safe out there. So.